Nope. No. Nope. No. I know exactly what shrieks like that. You can freaking... Wait, wait, wait. How close is it? So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Subnautica. So in today's episode, guys, I've got a feeling things might get a little bit scary. Well, actually, I suppose not scary, more mysterious. So in the last episode, we began our journey in the final build of Subnautica. We're restarting, guys, and there is a load of life pods scattered around. The radio is pinging like crazy. Each one of those is a pre-recorded message from what was once a survivor, and hopefully there is like a survivor out there somewhere. In today's episode, I want to continually investigate all of the life pods scattered around. It's actually one of the things I didn't prioritize in my old playthrough. And secondly, I want to hopefully get the seam off because that thing, I mean, it's just good, you know? No more talking though, guys, for this intro. I want to get straight back into the gameplay. And you already know the deal. If you want to see another episode real soon, you know what to do. Congratulations, Survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Heck yes. It indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Okay. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Well, thank you very much, Altera. As you guys can see, we already have a ping on the radio. And uh, one thing I've actually done is I've slightly increased the field of view so we can see more sideways. Life Pod 17 is one of the places I don't think I ever visited. So stranded near a cave system, also under attack. I mean, that's not good for them. Let me just see what this other radio message is, though, before we even start out, man. Uh, so much is going on. Let's go. Uh, this is Life Pod 6. 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Oh, shoot. Request immediate assistance. 6 out. Okay. Life Pod 6 Signal transmission origin. Corrupted. Ooh. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. So that's not even 100% accurate. They're just somewhere around, uh, I guess. Wait, where the freak are they? Codes and clues. Let me just check this one so we can see a picture. All right, they're in the red zone. Still don't know its name. Pre requested assistance navigating radiation. Sunk to approximately 100 meters. Located in an area dense with red grass and near a number of natural arcs and rock stacks. We can see some kind of wreckage there. It looks like the Aurora. I think we can find this. I don't think it's wise to go in the nighttime, though, you know, just in case we get lost. So, I think one of the things I'm going to prioritize is actually finding the blueprints for the vehicle bay. We did manage to find one of three yesterday, so I guess the hunt begins, man. Let's try and locate any more that may have scattered as the Aurora impacted with this planet. Thing is, like, the Aurora still hasn't even exploded yet, so <laughs> things are about to get crazy. And I mean, I don't know if I'm hyped or not, but it looks kind of awesome. Oh, I hear the cries of a reef back. Where the freak you at? Bro. I see you up there. Let me just continue searching around. Gotta be careful. Yeah, we don't want to bump into that. And also, we need to breathe. There's some wreckage here. We do have something to scan inside of this. That's a sea glide fragment, so, okay, pointless. That looks like another grav ball fragment, you know. Apparently, the grav trap is really cool. So many people were like, oh, you've got to try this thing. I mean, goodness, look at all the grav traps. Uh, hold up, that looks like a trash can. I mean, I need somewhere to put my rubbish. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Oh, dang, you kidding me? I should have some fluids here. Well, I've only got the one. That's not too good. That is not good at all. Okay, so for a grav trap, we need a battery, copper ore, and titanium. Ooh, that's a big drop down there. Change of its scenery entirely. Okay. Oh, shoot. It's the day. Today is the day, guys. It's about to get very, very messy on this planet. The Aurora's drive core, as said before, is continually degrading. It can only mean one thing. For now, though, let's keep on track. As said before, vehicle bay fragments is what we... Wait, what is this? Um, okay. Yeah, I see this, dude. Yes. Oh, interesting. Nice. So this place is very diverse. All right, we're I see that dude ducking and diving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting jumped by that guy. I haven't found a single vehicle bay fragment, so I'm actually thinking now I'm maybe looking in the wrong areas. Perhaps closer to the Aurora as opposed to further away is where we'll find more. All right, what we got here? And great. How about this one just down here? And uh, yeah, let's check this salvage just over here. A sealed piece of cargo. I wish we could just crack them open. What the freak is this? Oh, yes, laser cutter. Let's go. I don't think I must know how to make this thing then. So, one of three. Nice. Saying that took too long is an understatement. That took too freaking long. There's the water. We're going to consume this literally straight away. I almost feel like I want to wait right now just to see what happens with the Aurora. I feel like it's going to explode at any moment, and I do not want to miss the show, you know? It makes me think as well, I wonder if there's a way to access the Aurora before the explosion. You'd have to be so productive in order to get there in time and check the place out. I wonder what you'd actually find. 
Yes, there's the copper ore. Okay, let's build this grab trap thing then and see what it's all about. I've kind of got this image in my head that what it might do is pull things close to it like fish. So here we go. Grab trap. I'm going to build this thing without even thinking right now. Back into the ocean. Let me just equip this thing. We'll slot you on number one. And I've also realized I legit have no space for anything else. I should maybe think about building some kind of storage. Waterproof locker. Let's go. I mean, it's very necessary right now, clearly. All right, this guy can go right here. I've got 16 slots. So I think I'm going to throw everything in there that I don't need. need. This, 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 and this, and this. And there we go. So the grav trap, uh, I mean, I'll just throw it here. I guess we'll see what happens. There we go. And oh my god. That is awesome. <laughs> and it gets resources too? Are you serious right now? And I can just literally grab these... <laughs> This is so cool. That will make survival so much more easier down the line. There's three bladder fish. I'll have a peeper. I mean, literally like restaurant quality stuff here. I am actually getting to pick and choose what I want to consume. That's a great discovery then. Grav trap is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. I'm like full on food and water too. Now, when's the show going to begin? Like full stomach? I'm ready. I'm going to just investigate whilst I wait. So let me just re-equip the scanner on number four for now. There's something down there. And I think that might be a seamoth pregnant. I don't know what I just said. But yes, it is exactly what I was thinking it was anyway, at least in my head. There's one of three. What is this? Scanner room fragment. Already got it. Oh, yes. This is about to be a good episode. I'm going to assume then that this zone here, and thank you for the music, by the way, sounds awesome. Just as I explore this, I think... Oh, my God. Guys, it is freaking time. Oh, and we are not getting back there. I got to see. Oh, my God. Here we go. Get the freak back. It's that time again. Put this thing away. We cannot avoid this. It was back. Oh, my freaking gosh. Look at it blasting things all over the ocean. We can hear the winds as well. There comes the Geiger counter. Radiation suit, like, can you not freaking <laughs> promote me that? I'm sad. I just literally lost what I was living on. The radiation suit has been added to your blueprint. We database. need that, dude. That was intense as heck. What an epic moment. Like, we can see fragments still, like, splashing around. Home is gone. Home is gone. It's not over, though, guys. We've been making ground behind the scenes. That explosion, yes, it's a kind of bad thing. Let's not let it phase us, though, you know. As the night draws in, it feels like everything is going against us, but we are finding the Seamoth fragments right now. All we need is that mobile vehicle bay. Then we're going to get constructing good stuff. We can survive this, and we will. That's why we're back, and I'm staying determined. Up until a sand shark bites me, then I'm going to be the opposite. Load of wreckage just here, being guided by the sand shark. What's he doing? He's like burrowing, popping straight back out. Let me see. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Though he's not being too aggressive, you know? He's kind of, uh, I guess, leaving me alone? Okay, with the scanner out, let me just see if anything pings. Nothing so far. Nuclear waste disposal? Uh, let me go. Uh, uh, go, go. Oh my god, he's right behind me. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go. Where is he? Where is he? If it's not the oxygen, it's literally a sand shark. <laughs> he was right on my freaking tail. Got another distress signal. No way. We haven't found the other life pod because data was corrupted. We will find it, though. I need to prioritize getting other stuff first. Passing 100 meters. Oh, shoot. Oxygen yep. Mm-hmm. As it does. Let me just see what's in here quickly. We have a laser cutter. Yeah, this is the second fragment. Good stuff. Uh, this looks good. This looks promising. Yes, there we go. Fragment number two. I was thinking the shape of that definitely looked like almost the wing. Two out of three down. One to go. Oh. Oh, we accidentally just found it. I mean, I say accidental. I knew it was somewhere around here because of this, right? This must be it. Oh my god, wow, thanks. All right. I think was it that thing? Dingus. Open data box. Wait, what was that? Ultra glide fins. Let's go, dude. Okay, give me that abandoned PDA. My freaking oxygen is like depleting so quick. I'm gonna have to come back down to check inside there, though. Life pod six has been found. Yeah. Again, though, guys, it's not looking good. It never does. I know, I know. So something out through the top of this, we have some flares right here, not of any use to me. Another PDA, we'll take that one. Life pod log, uh, that's number two, some lead. Other than that, I think that's all this place has. Okay, life pod six, let's hear log number one. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. Huh? We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. Wow. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. 
Ring. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of oh, human resources, sharks, ma'am. This is not my expertise. Oh, dang. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation. There was suits. lead in there. Oh, there. I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. <laughs> of course. Don't worry. Dang. I'll go. Oh, wow. And from there on out, I guess they never made each other again. Let's find out number two. That explains the lead in there, though. Let's listen. Oh, she goes. She's geared up. What yep. are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. Okay. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around Wait, like that. What? You'll catch the fuel line. Oh, God. Wow. I have no words. We already know the explosion in the top. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. I'm gonna say one thing now, like, who the freak are these people? How do they all mess up so simply? <laughs> Seriously, who was the Aurora Quarting? Like, who is it recruiting? Okay. Oh, shoot, what, here? Yes. Yes, that's it. Yeah. So we can't go in there yet because of our oxygen deficiency. If we get the freaking team off, I mean, we're going in. All right, the final fragment then for the laser cutter. If we scan- <gasps> I'm getting, like, shot by something? Let me scan this on the low. Okay, I'm gonna need to, like, move as I scan. Okay, that's done. I want to be excited, but, like, I got freaking bullets in my suit. I'm hoping this fragment here may have the final piece of- Is that it? Is that it? Mm! Come on, let's go! Give me that good stuff. I'm gonna have to shoot straight to the surface. Yes! Let's go, man. Seam off done. All we need now is the vehicle bay. Then we can get building that. And then, like, seriously, transportation is a thing of the past on this place. I think when I found the first uh, mobile vehicle bay fragment, it was uh, around this area somewhere here. So I'm gonna return back, keep searching around, and let's just hope. Right, there is something in there. Yes, this is it then. The mobile vehicle bay fragments are in the kelp forest, I suppose. Ooh, this one goes down real deep. Kind of dark, if anything, down here. I see this cargo, though. Could it be- Hold up. <laughs> Mobile vehicle bay done. My gosh. So we've got the Seamoth and the mobile vehicle bay already. So I'm going to get back now to, I guess, my life pod. I'm going to see what we need to build the mobile vehicle bay and really get stuff going from there. So the mobile vehicle bay, we need titanium ingot. Now, how do we do that again? Also lubricant and then power cell. I mean, I can make the lubricant right there. It's right there how we make the ingot. Let's see this. To make the titanium ingot. Oh, that's plasteel ingot. So titanium ingot. In the meantime, let me take this distress signal. I think it's going to be- This is Avery Quinn, trading ship Sunbeam. Sunbeam! Over. We're not going to read. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. Gosh. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. I mean, <laughs> there's a Aurora, reason why. I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to no take way. more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yeah, but you're not going to hear me, are you? I'll try them again tomorrow. Man. Dan Charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. Dang. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay, then they'll see, I think, exactly what's going on. There we go. We had we had contact officially then with Sunbeam. And they're talking about picking us up. I'd imagine we'd be able to maybe solve that if you went over to the GUN quickly. Maybe that's like an end game you can achieve super quick. But I want to do everything for this playthrough, guys. It's why I'm super excited. And then it's like we've almost got alternate endings for this. So it'd be cool to stop the GUN from destroying the Sunbeam and then really go from there. So titanium ingots is just 10 titanium. I think I stored some back when I first... Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Looks like I didn't. Maybe that's the one thing then I didn't store in there. All right, one metal salvage then. We are all good. Then a power cell. So we need to make a battery. And then I think we need another ingredient. I'm going to collect for the long haul then. So I'm looking for some more metal salvage because I know the... Uh, freaking like, can this thing stop interrupting? The Seamoth also requires that you use uh, titanium ingots to build the thing. It doesn't really make sense to just build the mobile vehicle bay, let it sit there and then go back out. Whilst we're here, let's just optimize the time we have. Yep. Yep. Radiation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm getting too close. So I need to make the suit because of that too. That's a trap. So I'm just breaking everything down now, guys, on the scavenge that I went. Uh, we can now start making titanium ingots so I can make two of these total. That gets us covered for the titanium ingot needed for the mobile vehicle bay. And then also, uh, okay, interrupt. Also covers us as well for the seam off. So that's those two tasks done. And I'm going to put this then in storage. Mm, I guess we can hang on to those actually. So uh, I got a few batteries here as well. Some of them are empty. I'm going to dispose of those. Then it said we needed silicone. And we make silicone rubber with the creepvine cluster seed. Okay, cool. Let's take about three or four of these. And uh, then we're going to go. Oh, that thing narrowly just missed us. Okay, now we're gonna go. Okay, there's our silicone rubber then. Was it just silicone or was it silicone rubber? Hold up. Nope. It was lubricant. I don't know why I thought I needed silicone, but yeah, I just kind of wasted two 
Though, fortunately, I did pick up four, so I suppose it has kind of worked out. Just need a power cell. So, to make a power cell, what else do we need? Oh, that's what I was thinking then. For the power cells, that's what you need the silicone rubber for. And, I mean, we can do that. But once we've done that, I think we can build the vehicle bay. Let's do this. Yes. Mobile vehicle bay is now being constructed. Yeah. We've got another distress signal. Like, you guys, you're so freaking needy. Release the vehicle bay. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. We'll place you right there. Now, I remember in my game. This thing just kept drifting, so I'm gonna see. I think it's fairly stationary. Let's climb on a board, though. Hey, let's go. Now, let me see. What do we need in order to make the Seamoth? Power cell, glass, and lead. I think we're literally there to make this thing. So, glass, we've got three quarts already. We have the lead as well. All we need, then, is, I think, one more creep vine cluster seed. And then, uh, I think... Wait, what else do we need? Hold up. We can already make the power cell. So, nice. Literally, all we need is one single more quartz. And we've already got the freaking Seamoth. Let's go. There it is. We don't got stuff. Firstly, I'm gonna hear this radio message this might be Aurora, this is sunbeam, sunbeam. we just picked up now a they know the debris field at your location they know i didn't know how bad how many of you uh-huh I, I didn't know it's fine man. we're now en route to your location okay we're gonna bring you home sunbeam out they have no idea what else can i say the only time i parked a rig this big what? on a rock that small was in vr and i blew it okay so, Bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Mm -hmm. Having like a debate back there about even picking us up by the sounds of things. Yikes. Okay, now on a good note, let me get back over to the vehicle bay. Let me get on this thing. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Inside to this thing, and I didn't make the courts. <clears throat> so, um, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? Climbing on board right now. All the goods are all here, guys. We already know. I ain't even waiting. I'm not even waiting. My game like... <laughs> Uh huh. Screw my glutes. Yes, it's gonna plunge straight in the water. My good stuff. I mean, look at this guy. What do you think? Huh? Yep, he's fine. That, that, I think that's a good thing. I'm gonna assume. Oh, yes, it is good to be bad. Woo! That is good, man. That is real good. Now we have a brilliant mode of transport. I guess, like, transporting around the place is gonna just be so much easier. In that case, let's test this baby out. Life Pod 17. This was one of the places where I wanted to go, but I never did. Feels good to be traveling like this. Like, you know, I'm a freaking way you Gary Fish. Here it is. So, these guys complained about snakes attacking this. Whoa. Look at that fragment of the Aurora. We're gonna have to investigate that. We have the laser cutter, so we can. Let me just see what is around here. Of course, there's always the PDA. Generally, from the resources you can find, it may give some story. What happened? All right, nice. Now, I mean, have they dropped any item nearby? Something glowing a lot. Somewhere around here. I don't know. That's a Seamoth fragment. We're already good for that. I think that's it then. Or wait, no, that's it. All right, life pod 17. What happened, okay? We're gonna play this. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. Yeah. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. Oh, I can tell you're scared. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. Mm-hmm. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Uh, Mobile phase vehicle gate? bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. This is it what had we a need cinema. To there, there was a zero G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. What happened, dude? I mean, I know don't what know why no one's coming for me. Oh, life pod 17. That's quite tragic. You know? Dang, this dude was so scared. I just want to know what happened. He said, I can't believe no one's coming for me. Look at the tear in the side of the ship. Poor guy. Something ripped that thing apart, though. Like, look at that. And I think around this biome could or should be able to do that, I suppose. I mean, we're in a seamoth and we're fine. That is really worrying. This right here, though, has caught my attention. I'm going to at least see what is around this thing. A bioreactor fragment. Let's try and scan at least some stuff around here then. All right, another bioreactor fragment just here. Let's go. I mean, we haven't started building a base just yet. Definitely getting the equipment ready to do so. So right here we have the laser cutter. It's definitely prompting us to start using it. Should definitely build that in the next episode then. Nope. No. Nope. No. I know what makes that <laughs> No way. I know exactly what shrieks like that. You can freaking... Wait, wait, wait. How close is it? It has to be somewhat close, right? It has to be. We're hearing it shrieks fairly loud. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. I just want to see... Ignore that. I need to see how close it is. I've saved. If all else fails, I'm going to reload. It sounds like it's above. You know? But it can't be. Big drop down here. 
seemingly nothingness. I don't truly know where I am, to be honest. Where is it? I need to know. Then we know and we can never worry about this. There it is. I'm out, peace. We can assume right now, if that thing is lurking so close and the tear mark in this live pod is so drastic, one of these things right here, this sand shark, uh-uh. It ain't doing that. Look at that. That's like one big chomp. You can almost see the teeth. Get out of here. You can like see the teeth in that thing though. How it like gritted in and really chomped down on that thing. I think we know exactly how that poor guy's fate ended and he was so scared. And literally he must have encountered the worst of the worst. What a poor guy. We got another signal too. Just to end off the episode. Let me just check this one out. Is it going to be for a life pod or is it Sunbeam? Huh? Oh, this is a life pod. Okay. This is Keenan, life pod 19. 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. By whose... The last thing the captain him? did was give me coordinates for dry land. Hey. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. Dude. This message will now repeat. That way there? Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Again? Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Okay, we need to see Signal this. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Mm-hmm. What? How? I don't see this thing. I don't see where it downloaded. Thing is, guys, I'm going to be finding that life pod no matter what happens. I mean, it's at one of two islands. I think I'm going to investigate both for the next episode anyway. Now is the point, though, where in episode three, we're going to start encountering, I think, some of the leviathans of the land. And I'm not excited for that whatsoever. But we got to make progress, and it's literally the only way by this point. Seamoth done. We don't have the radiation suit, so we can't quite go to the Aurora. I'll probably make that in the next episode, and I guess we're just going to see exactly where the episode will take us. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.